Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. This is our last lesson looking at database programming, making use of add tables. And we're going to learn how to delete from our tables using database programming. Grade 12s can expect these type of questions in the final paper, question 2.2. So before we continue with the delete, I need to come back to the two tables that are linked. Remember now, each parent has many children and no child can exist without a parent. And that also means that when you are deleting records, you can't delete a record from the teacher's table if it is still linked to some of the records in the child table. So you will have to delete all the records from the child table before you can delete the corresponding record in the teacher table. Alternatively, you could also change the teacher ID of all these children to another teacher. And once that is completed, you can then only delete the record from the teacher table. If you were asked to delete the active record, your code would simply look like this. tblearner.delete and that's it. But here's an example of deleting multiple records from the table. You're still going to use your while loop and you're still going to have your dot first and while not end of table. Your dot next has moved now to the else. This is because if I delete a record, so let's say I'm deleting all the grade 12s and I am deleting record 1 because that was a learner in grade 12. By executing this code, record 2 now becomes my active record because record 1 does not exist anymore. If you would put this dot next outside of this if statement, you would then go to record 3. So if the record in record number 2 was also a grade 12 learner, in this way you will skip over that record. So you will know that you've placed the dot next in the incorrect place if you have to click on a button multiple times before all the grade 12s were deleted. This is now the only instance where our dot next goes inside of the else. And here I'm just counting using I count how many records I'm deleting. Now here's just a reminder of the code that you may not use in your exam. You will see in the instructions of your final exam paper, it says that you have to code from first principles. And that means that you are not allowed to use dot sort. You are also not allowed to use dot filter. If you are searching for a value, you need to use a while loop. You will not score any marks for using a filter. And the last code that you may not use is your locate. So you can't use locate whether it is in an if statement or calling it as a procedure since you have to use your while loop to search for any value in your table. This is now your time to practice. If you haven't done so already, go and download the grade 11 data files so that we can continue in there. Open the program in the Add Tables folder that is stored inside of the eBooks folder. And then try both of these menus and I will show you the answer soon. Press pause, try it yourself and then have a look at the memo. To delete the active record, we simply need to use tblusername.delete. So in this case, instead of using the with dm user do, I'm just placing the dm user dot in front of the name of the table, as it would save me some time. In our previous lesson, we changed all the grades to the next grade. So after that code run, all your grade 12 learners would now have the value of 13 in their grade field. Here we are asked to delete all of those learners. So we need to delete many users or records and therefore we're going to have to use our while loop. So we have a tbl username.first and while not end of table. And in my while loop, I'm searching for grade 13 learners. I also want to count how many learners I'm going to delete. So I'm incrementing my counter that was initialized above the loop as always. And then I have my tbl username.delete. 
And here you will see the only instance where the TBL username dot next is not actually inside of the while loop to run every time that my while loop executes, but rather in the else statement of the if that is inside of the while loop. And this is so that we don't skip over some user. So if I have deleted a record that had a value of 13, the current active record then changes to the next record. So if I had a dot next, I will skip over the record that followed the one that I deleted. And if I had two grade 13s after each other, I would skip over one of them. You will note that you have done it incorrectly if you have to click on this menu multiple times before all your grade 13s are deleted. So make sure that your dot next is inside of the else of this if statement so that we only go to the next record if it's not a record that we are going to delete. And then we were just simply asked to display a message to show how many learners we have deleted. This now brings us to the end of the database programming section. If you want to practice more, go to Dandelion Delphi Book 2. There are more activities there to practice database programming with. Thank you for watching Dandelion Delphi tutorials. Please leave some comments if there's anything else that you would like to know. Hope to see you soon.